He was almost unknown to the Lebanese people, but has now been propelled into the public eye. A former lecturer with a PhD in law and political science, Mustafa Adib was appointed chief of staff in 2011 under prime minister and billionaire Najib Mikati. Since 2013, he'd been serving as Lebanon's ambassador to Germany. But while he's being backed by a majority of MPs, protesters had already warned that they would reject any government formed by Adib. The protest movement has engulfed Lebanon for almost a year, with demonstrators urging for a political overhaul after growing tired of the elite that has ruled Lebanon for the past decades. As a result, major challenges lie ahead as Adib takes on his first term as prime minister at 48 years old. His new government will be expected to lift Lebanon out of the deepening political and economic crisis, which has only worsened since an explosion at Beirut's port left 200 people dead and destroyed part of the capital. So far, Mustafa Adib has vowed to form a cabinet of experts to reignite deadlocked talks with the International Monetary Fund. Internal and international observers are set to keep a close watch on the changes they demand to Lebanon's sectarian system. The IMF has made clear that such reforms are compulsory if the country wants to reach a bailout agreement.